Today, Gosha is gonna be doing her mock driving test. She's not quite ready yet, almost, but I'm not confident to say, yeah, go and do the real test. So we're gonna do a mock test to see where she may be going wrong. But also, she has kindly agreed to make this video so that you can learn about the test as well. So Gosha, I'm your examiner, Jeffrey. What would you like me to call you today? Is Gosha okay? Yeah. Okay, would you like me to tell you a thing or two about the test? Sure. Well, it's gonna last between 38 and 40 minutes. It's gonna take into account various road and traffic conditions, mm -hmm. and you've got to follow the road ahead, unless I say left or right, or traffic signs or road markings direct you otherwise. Okay. There may be an emergency stop, and there will be one manoeuvre, and today we're gonna to be using the sat -nav. Can you answer a question for me, please? Sure. How do you check that your head restraint is correctly adjusted? Well, it has to, the middle of it has to line up with the top of your ear. Does the middle of yours line up with the top of your ear? Um, this is as low as it goes. So. Oh, that's about as good as it can get, isn't yeah. it? So the sat nav is already set. Okay. I'm ready when you are. Perfect. I'll get my examiner tablet out. Mm -hmm. I'll be dotting things down as you drive along. Pretend. The test lasted about 40 minutes, but to keep the video short, I've only included the good and the bad highlights of the drive. In 100 yards, turn right onto Bonhall Avenue. Take the next right onto Bonhall Avenue. Good mirrors for moving back to her side of the road after passing the parked car. However, no right mirror check for the right signal, which would normally be a driver fault, also known as a minor mark, on a driving test. But the speed at the end of the road is excellent. It allows her to make good observations without having to rush the controls. If you see... In 200 yards, turn right onto Old Heath Road. She always likes to butt in. If you see an examiner pressing on the tablet, don't worry about it, don't be looking. They might just be marking off things that they need to get you to do. Okay. Like if you've done a manoeuvre or the emergency stop or something. I'm going to put this away. Right, I'm back to being Jeffrey again now. Take the next right onto Old Heath Road. This time Gosha checks the centre and right mirror before her right signal and again it's an excellent speed approaching the junction and an excellent stop position because she stopped really close to the line and this is a very close junction and if you don't go all the way to the line you won't be able to see who's coming. Excellent position and speed approaching these parked cars. Her position makes it clear that she intends to go through and her lower speed keeps her safe as she's near the parked cars and they do restrict her view of the zebra crossing. A little bit late for the signal on that mini roundabout, but as no harm was done, the examiner is very unlikely to mark it. In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, take the third exit onto Colne Causeway A134. Absolutely beautiful approach to the roundabout. Notice how she slows down a little bit early so that she doesn't need to stop for the cars coming round the roundabout. Instead, she gets there when they have gone past and continues without stopping herself. In 300 yards at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Eastern Approach. In 200 easier. yards at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Colne Causeway, Elmstead Road. To use the right lane, so you may find it easier to use the right lane at the next roundabout to enter and to exit. Is it this one? Yes, the right lane for the next roundabout. Or you won't have time to change later, the sat nav doesn't tell you that. Mm. Your examiner should help you with that on your test. Unfortunately, Gosha spends too long checking her left mirror and she misses that the traffic lights change. 
This leads me to have to go for the dual controls. She notices my foot move and hits the brake herself hard. Unfortunately, this is a fail. The silver car on this mini roundabout is Gosha's shield, but she takes it late. However, she does get away with it because the car on her right was late to move away. Take the second exit onto Klingo Hill, A133. There is no need to signal left when leaving a mini roundabout, but there's no harm done on this occasion. She makes excellent progress on this 70 mile an hour dual carriageway, even overtaking this car that was doing 65 miles per hour. Take the second left onto Tyro, then you will arrive at your destination. Slows down a little bit late and harshly for this junction, that would be a minor for approach speed. You have arrived. Thank you. Please move away when it's safe. Good observations and good move, no one around so no need to use the indicator. Overall, since moving away, Gosha has been driving a bit slow for the speed limit and the conditions. I know it's wet and it's bendy, but there's no need to be going this slow. This would be a minor for appropriate speed. She has spent most of her time on this road in the low to mid 20s, even on the straights, and we've been driving on it for a little while. So by now, she would have failed her driving test for appropriate speed. This was a very long straight and Gosha only managed 37 miles an hour for a brief moment of time. No one was coming the other way. It's very clear she could have easily be getting in the 40s, possibly even 50 on this road. That confirms that failing her for appropriate speed was the right decision. Just after this bend, there should be a nice long straight. On that straight, if you can find a safe place to pull up at the side of the road, please. Thank you. So here we're going to do the emergency stop. Okay. Only stop if I put my hand out and say stop. You may see me look behind to make sure it's safe also. Mm -hmm. If someone is behind, we won't do the stop. Okay. okay. Yes. Continue when you're ready, please. Destination. Stop. 
brilliant reactions and good pressure on the pedal. The car stops as quickly as it can in these conditions using the ABS. She signals left because there is a car behind, but the car was very, very far behind, as far as I could see down the straight, so I deemed it still safe to do the stop. However, there is a minor for this emergency stop because she doesn't check both blind spots before moving away, and as we're not next to the side of the road, before she moves away, she should check both blind spots. And if you find a safe place on this road to pull over, if you could please. Okay, and move away when it's safe, please. Excellent stop control and position, and she did manage to stop before the road on her right, although on camera it looks like she stopped outside it. However, when she did her hill start, she did rush. She gave too much gas and didn't lift the clutch enough, burning the clutch slightly in the process. However, it wasn't too bad, so only a minor on the test. A left signal would have been very helpful to the van in front of her here, but it's not serious, so just a minor mark. I'm sorry, but I've got to mention this. That's a Lamborghini Countach, and you don't see them on the road every year, let alone every day. Let me know in the comments if you're in favour of an automatic test pass if you spot a Lamborghini Countach during your test. Daisy's signalling right for the roundabout before the road on the right is misleading. That would be a minor. In 300 yards at the roundabout, take the first exit onto Ipswich Road. She was late to signal left and moved to the left when leaving this roundabout. That would be another minor. Excellent approach speed and preparation. She avoided stopping just as the lights were turning green. If she would have approached them quicker and braked more harshly, she would have had to stop and then most likely do a handbrake start to start on this steepish hill. Excellent speed and position again. Her position makes it clear to everybody that she wants to pass the parked cars and her speed makes it safe, but also allows her to get to the parked cars when the oncoming car had finished passing. And find a safe place to pull over, please. Good observations, no need to signal because there was no one around, and a good stop position. Okay, thank you. If you can move away again when it's safe, please. Good idea to use the signal here, as her view ahead was restricted. Nicely timed. Second road on the right, please. This one is the first. Next road on the right. It is important to regain your side of the road, if possible, before you turn right. She doesn't do that here, although it is very open and she can see, so it's not too much of a problem. over just before the green car on the left as early as you can though please don't worry about the driveways that 
can do there, thank you. Just stop now. So this is where you're going to do your parallel park. You're going to pull up alongside the green car, mm -hmm. reverse park behind it, finishing within two car lengths of that green car and close to the kerb. Okay. But on this occasion, don't worry about the dropped kerbs. Treat them like raised kerbs. Okay. Ready when you are. You will find that it's quite common to do the parallel park exercise outside someone's driveway on the driving test simply because there's not enough time during the driving test for the examiner to find the ideal parking spot. She's not sure which way to steer but she does figure it out. Good angle. I think she's got a bit too close to the curb. Her adjustment did not improve her position, she simply went forwards and then came back to exactly where she was before. Okay, thank you, if you can secure the car please. Oh dear, she's on the pavement. Only a little bit though, and I have known examiners to let pupils off if they do mount a drop curb ever so slightly, because it's much harder to tell if you've hit a drop curb, because you can't feel it, than if you hit a raised curb. But for the purposes of the video, that's a fail. Thank you very much. If you can continue, please. Good control, but her observations were getting very old during that angle start. So that's another minor. And pull over in a safe place on the left, please. Thank you very much. If you could switch the engine off, please. I've already given Gosha the debrief of the test. Unfortunately, she didn't pass. You would have known that because you were listening to the commentary. If you think the video helps you learn about the driving test, please give it a thumbs up and check out Collingwood and Confused in the description. If you're looking to insure yourself on somebody else's car to help you learn to drive, 
Collingwood can help because you can do so without affecting their policy. And via the link at the moment, there's up to 35% off and a £20 Amazon gift card. Also, check out Confused.com because with Confused, you fill out one quote form, get loads of quotes back from different insurers to see who's cheapest, and you can compare how much it costs to insure different cars because you can change the car on that quote as many times as you like. Using the links doesn't cost you anything, but it does support the channel, so thank you very much. Subscribe to get my future videos, and until the next one, cheerio.